In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a 12 gun brig in Minecraft. Now, if you're new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one. So make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also guys, if you're interested in more ship tutorials, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description. Anyway, let's get into building. Okay. So here we are on my flat world. So just in the introduction section, what I'm going to be going over is, is how many blocks underwater you're going to be building it, because I'm going to be building it on flat land so I can show you all the details. And the other thing is how long and how tall it is. So all of that will be covered in this section. So first off, it is 38 blocks long. So that is right from this back part of the cabin right here, all the way to the, the front kind of piece there. It is 19 blocks wide, and that includes the sails, so that's with the sails out. Otherwise, I think it's nine blocks. So let's have a look, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so it's nine. So it's nine blocks in total uh, width for the actual ship's hull itself, but with the uh, with the sails included as well, can be uh, 19 blocks wide. At least that's what mine ended up being with these little bits coming off. And in terms of its height, it is 34 blocks wide. So that's from the bottom of the ship, all the way right to the top mast that we've got going on there. So guys, if you were building this one under the water, I'll show you exactly where that'll be. It's going to be two blocks underneath the water. So the white layer that you get here, that is where it's going to be. So when you are building it, you know, you have this, for example, this will be if your water levels here. You'll just go down one extra block from that. So yeah, a couple blocks down. And this is your first layer. So it's right there like that. Let me clean this up because otherwise it's... <laughs> This ends up making a right mess. Apparently I'll just knock out one of those. Right. Excellent. There we go. So yeah, that's where you're going to be building it under water. Um, other kind of like bits of details. If you're wanting to build this one docked and you want the front of the ship, you know, where is this point right here? That is, well, up to this point right here is actually 15 blocks back from this box. And I'll talk about the box in a second. But that's where that will be. So right from the front. That is 15 blocks right there, as you can see it like that. And then, yeah, if you did want to do it a couple more, we could maybe do 13 blocks where you've got a little bit more of a gap. So if you had a, I don't know, a dock there, um, for example, you would probably be 12 blocks. You know, it depends on how you guys want to make it, uh, but there's a couple little bits and pieces from that. So yeah, I'm going to be using this big box here. Um, this is an easy way of doing it. I just find it always, it just seems to be the best way of uh, of doing these ships and it keeps everything in in this in the confines of here and if you guys are building it in a specific place you can do the same so for the box it is exactly what we were saying before 38 blocks long and also 19 blocks wide but guys that is it for this introduction section so the next bit we're going to be starting on layer number one okay so for layer number one what we're going to do is need to find the middle of this box and what we're going to be doing is we're going to by, by finding the middle, middle just plunk down um blocks every other one you'll have five on either side of a central block that's what you should have so you can see the central block i've marked with spruce planks including this one we're going to be going back a total of um 15 blocks that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen like that then what we're going to do guys is for this bottom piece it's totally up to you how you want to do it but um i've gone for a very white uh, kind of bottom of the ship. I've got smooth quartz slabs and white concrete. You can then mix in some smooth quartz uh, blocks as well to kind of variate it a little bit if you want to. Um, but I'm going to be doing it nice and simple for the tutorial. So you're going to have an upper slab here. That's where your starting block is. Then two blocks. One, two. Then you're going to go out diagonally. And you're going to have two upper slabs. So that's why we removed this one. It's because we need to go out diagonally. So you get two there. Behind this, two slabs, uh, sorry, two blocks. Yeah, two blocks behind it. So two slabs, two blocks. Then we're gonna get out and we're gonna have six slabs. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we move in, we're just gonna have a block here. Like that, it's really difficult to show you guys sometimes. There you go, like there. Then we're gonna have three slabs, one, two, and three. Then we're gonna go back in again and we're gonna have three blocks, one, two, three, like that. And then what we're going to do right on the back, we're going to have a jungle fence and then a spruce plank block. And that shouldn't be on the line. So it should be one in from the line. And that means you've done it right. So we just go over it again. Got that one slab, two blocks. We move out. We have two slabs, 
two blocks behind that. Then we move out and we have six slabs. Then we move in with one block. We have three slabs. We move in and we have three blocks. And we've got a jungle and our spruce. So on the other side, on uh, yes, on the other side, move diagonally. We're gonna have these two slabs, two blocks. Move diagonally and have six slabs. Two, three, four, five, and six. We're gonna move in with one block. Then we're gonna have three slabs. One, two, three. And then for the bottom of the ship, what you can do if you want to is obviously fill it up in with slabs. I don't do this. Uh, the reason I don't do this is because I like to place stuff down onto it, like uh, barrels and things. So I just fill it all up in with normal blocks. I just find this looks a lot better. But that is it, guys. Uh, also, we can now remove this as well because this is just our guide piece. I might leave that in there. Who knows if that's useful at all. But um, that is going to be it for layer number one. Okay, and now for layer number two. So what you guys are going to do is grab your white concrete and while we've got our slab right on the front here, place a block on top. Then we're going to need smooth quartz stairs and we're going to have an upside down stair right on the front of this one, just like that. Go over to your quartz slab and just on the side of this block, have an upper piece like that. Then we're going to have three blocks of concrete behind this. One, two, and three. And then this time, leave this block and have two next to it. So you're gonna have two slabs right next to it like that. Then back to your white concrete and we're gonna have 11 blocks behind this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11, just like that. Then we're gonna have a smooth quartz slab on the upper piece here. Then we're gonna have three blocks of concrete behind this. This includes behind this slab, one, two, and three. Then we're gonna have another slab and on top of this, just two blocks, like that. And then a jungle fence and a block of spruce planks on the back there. So just to go through this again, we placed a block on top of the last one, had a stair on the front. On the side of that block, we had a slab. Then we had three blocks behind that slab. On the last two, we have two slabs. Then we have 11 blocks, and that goes all the way back. So on the front, it's uh, three blocks over this slab layer here and two blocks over the last. Then you have a slab on the back of that. Then three blocks, then a slab, and then we've got these two blocks in here. So we'll do the same on the other side. It should take us too long. So first thing, slab on the side. Then we're gonna have three blocks, one, two, three. Last two, we've got these upper slabs. Then we got that run of 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. Then what we do is we have a slab up here. Then we're gonna have three blocks. And then a slab right here on the back, like that. And that will give us layer number two. Okay, and now for layer number three. So what you're gonna do, guys, right to the front again, place a block directly on top of that last stair that you had. Then we're gonna go switch over to our stairs. So we're gonna have an upside down stair on either side of this, like that. Behind this, we're gonna have two blocks. So I'm doing it on the on the other side. I'm gonna change the way I'm doing this all the time. Um, yeah, so you've got two blocks there, then on the side of this one, upside down stair, like that. Then we're going to have three blocks, one, two, and three of white. I'm going to do the same on the other side, actually. So down there, one, two, three, like that, right behind it. Then what we're going to do is we are going to switch over to dark oak. So I've got dark oak on mine, then I've got birch, then I've got dark oak. Uh, and you guys can do the same if you'd like. So what we'll do is we are going to place a... Uh, block in the back here, just on top of that one. Then right on the two sides of these ones, we're going to have two blocks, or sorry, two slabs of dark oak. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have seven blocks on the back of this one of dark oak. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then another two dark oak slabs. This time, the backfill for these are both going to be dark oak. So this is where it kind of merges in a little bit, is to try and make it look quite quite smooth. Um, it never does because, you know, we haven't got like, you can't mix half blocks. It'd be great if we could, but we can't. So I don't think that's ever going to happen. <laughs> right. Anyway, over to your white concrete. What we're going to do is going to have two blocks behind this one, two. Then we're going to have a upside down smooth quartz stair. Then behind this, just on this little bit here, we're going to have two blocks, one, two. Then we're going to have another smooth quartz stair like that. Then we're going to have a block on this one and then a stair on the back there. And then we're gonna have a spruce stair this time. 
I'm just going to be on there to complete the rudder so you get this kind of piece in, in here like that. So we'll do the same on the other side now. So what we need to do is put in one piece of dark oak planks just behind it. Then on the white one and also on that dark oak planks we're going to have two dark oak stairs, uh, slabs, two dark oak slabs. Then we are going to have, I believe it was uh, seven blocks, yeah. So seven blocks of dark oak, one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Then two dark oak slabs. Then we're going to have right on the back here, two blocks behind that to backfill out of your dark oak. Switch over to your white concrete and we're going to have two blocks here, one and two. Then an upside down smooth quartz stair. Then we're going to have two blocks in here and then another smooth quartz stair upside down. Just putting that in there like that. So what we can do now guys as well is actually if we grab a couple other blocks gonna grab oak slab and we're also gonna grab stripped spruce wood um, we can do a little bit of the kind of floor so what I've got is I've got a almost like a, basically a gun deck on this one uh, so we're just gonna put in bits of the foundation on this one it's probably gonna be easier than than doing it later on so for the front where the mast is uh, where we've got this kind of um, dark oak find the middle and then move forwards by one and we're just gonna build this up a couple like that now for me, I ended up having uh, stair, uh, uh, ladders on that. We can do that in a second. So at the back, where we've got these dark oak pieces, go in towards the center of it, and then go across, and then that's where we're gonna have ours there. But that one, so that's where that mast ends up. With the oak slab, what we're gonna do is across the back of this one, we're gonna have three lots of oak slabs on the upper piece, and one going out towards the rudder. For the front, what we're gonna do is we are actually going to have it one less than this gap here. So this is where I had my ladder. I'll show you where the ladder goes because might as well have it. So I just plonked mine in there. I usually don't put it on the bottom one so I can kind of, uh, if I want to, that's it, it's crouch down. <laughs> if I remember what crouch is, um, crouch down, I don't have to grab into it and then when you jump you can get onto it. But it's up to you guys if you want to do that or not. So that's where I have that. Um, what we'll do then is just from all these pieces is join it all up. So we've got it going all the way across here like that. Now I have randomly got a um, oak slab on this piece. I've not yet figured out how it works because it seems like the cabin is actually dropped when you go into it. Um, I think it's because of the space so it gave me some more space. So I'll plonk that in there for the time being. Why not? Um, and we'll just then see how it kind of goes. But uh, that is it guys for layer number three. Okay, and now for layer number four. So come to the front and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go forwards with a smooth court stair upside down. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have two blocks of dark oak planks just on top of the last layer here. Then what we're gonna do is right on the side of this one, we're gonna have an upside down dark oak stair like that. And we're gonna have three blocks behind it. One two and three of dark oak. Then we're gonna have a dark oak stair, right upside down from there. So we get these two slabs, then a stair when we're going upwards. We are then gonna have two dark oak planks. And now we're gonna switch over to birch planks. You can use other uh, different colors as well if you want to use the warped or um, the crimson stairs, for example, or, or anything else really, you know, go with prismarine, why not? Uh, or, or the crazy pink thingy that I never use, purple stairs, um, whatever. Place down one block of whatever it is you've gone for. Then you're going to leave a block. So this is where we're going to have a cannon. Then we're going to have two. Then we're going to leave a block. Then we're going to have two. And then we're going to leave a block. Then we're going to have a dark oak plank on the back of that one. Then an upside down dark oak stair. And then behind this, we're going to have four blocks going this way. So one, two, three, and four. Then on the back here, we're going to have two blocks. One, two, so we move inwards. Then we're gonna have a dark oak stair, then a block, then a stair on the back of that. So if we do the same on the other side, so we've already got that front piece, we're gonna have two dark oak planks on the side of this one, or the last one even. We're gonna have the dark oak stair upside down, then three blocks behind this, one, two, and three. Then an upside down dark oak stair, then two blocks of dark oak, then a birch plank, Leave a gap, two birch planks, leave a gap, 
two birch planks, leave a gap. Then we're gonna go for dark oak planks. Have a stair on there, upside down stair. Then behind this, just in this little gap here, we're gonna have four, so one, two, three, and four. And then here, just have two blocks to join up. Like that, there we go, looking good. So if we get onto the, um, put in the cannons quickly, and then we'll get onto actually doing the trim around the cabin. Um, what we need for this is a couple of different blocks. I'm gonna grab a barrier block, which you can't, of course, grab in there. You have to spawn it in, but I've already got one here. If you haven't got a barrier block, you can also use something that I've got down here, which is string. So string or barrier blocks um, will work for this. That's because we're using anvils. So I like anvils for my cannons. Uh, other people don't, so if you don't, that's okay. I'll show you some alternatives to it. Uh, but you basically put two of those in and then behind it just have a spruce stair in like that. And that's what I go for for my cannons. Um, it's because of the, the kind of, I don't know, square roundedness and the color and everything. Everything kind of fits for me with the anvils. But as I found out in survival, anvils are horrendously expensive on the iron front. So uh, what I've been saying to other people, what, what um, seems to be a lot cheaper is using something like polished blackstone or just using the normal blackstone um, or something like that. There we go, blackstone slab. I quite like the polished one. I, I think it looks a little bit more metallic to me, um, but it's totally up to you guys what you want to use for that. But I will be going with anvils. So plonk those down. I can't remember if I got one there. Nope, apparently I haven't. There you go. I was trying to be organized, but obviously I haven't been organized enough. So there we go. Get those in there and get your stairs on like that. So that will give you the first set of cannons and the next layer will do the other set of cannons. So what we'll do now is we'll get onto the back. We're gonna do a little bit of cabin detail. So we have uh, jungle wood. So there's like every type of wood pretty much apart from acacia, which I, I don't like acacia, um, is in this build. So we're gonna have a upper slab of jungle. Then we're gonna have a normal jungle stair like this. Two slabs coming out from that. Then at the back, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a jungle oak stair like this and on the other side like that as well. So two stairs going outwards and then have a slab in the middle there. Then we're gonna have those two slabs going across, normal stair, and then an upper jungle slab like that. So the next thing we need to do, I'm just gonna clear my inventory down, is I need to uh, correct a minor, minor mistake, which is where I put this mast in. So this mast we've got here, we need to push it back to, or push it towards the front by one block. And now we can put this in. And that also means we need to move this here forwards by one. Then with our oak uh, slabs, we're gonna have this on top of this one and on top of this one and by the sides of them. And then also on the back. And then the rest of them are gonna be upper slabs for this piece. And that finishes up this deck. If you don't like this one, just make it a full. It's absolutely fine. It's totally up to you. I might end up changing it on mine when I get around to the interior, which I'll be doing uh, just before I finish this video, probably. <laughs> so anyway, guys, on the back here, what we're going to be doing is going on top of this dark oak and bringing this around and bring it right to here as well. And actually, I don't have this block in here. Um, what I did do, though, is I actually did for my one, for my interior, I've put in a block down here um, because then I have the cabin effectively is, is going kind of over a bit. It's not, it's not like this, but then you can get into the cabin uh, and it gives you a little bit more room to play around with. Uh, ignore this posts, obviously. But that's the reason I went for that. So that's why it kind of drops in. It's for the interior details itself. But that is it, guys, for layer number four. Okay, and now for layer number five. So what we're going to do, guys, is go to the front, place down a dark oak plank block on the on top of the old, the old one, <laughs> the previous layer's uh, quartz block or stair. Then do an upside down dark oak stair either side of this. Behind that, place a dark oak plank block. Then we're gonna have a birch stair. Sorry, not birch stair. Then we're gonna have a birch plank block. Then what we're gonna do is have a birch stair. That's what I was trying to get to. So birch stair is gonna be normal on top of the last layer like this, okay? We're gonna need an oak slab and we're gonna have an upper oak slab right in front of that birch stair. And then on the side of that birch stair, we're gonna have a lower oak slab. So this is all part of the beak as it's called. Uh, and I actually, I actually quite like the look of this one. It's quite pointy, but I quite like it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have another cannon. So let's grab a barrier again. Plonk that down. We're going to have our 
anvil in the back there. Of course, you can put a stair back in there. We'll do that in a little bit, I think. Then we're going to have behind this two blocks of birch right behind it. Then on top of the dark oak stair, we're going to have a birch stair. Then this is where we're going to have another cannon. So again, I'm using my barrier block, but again, use string or anything else that you guys can use. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have our birch on top of these two. Sorry, we're not going to have birch on those two. We're going to have one lot of birch. Then we're going to switch over to dark oak. Yeah, so switch over to dark oak. Now we need dark oak slab. So we're going to have that on top. Two blocks of dark oak. Then we're going to have a dark oak slab. Then two blocks of dark oak. And then this one, we're actually going to have a... I've already got one there. Birch slab. So this is where it switches. So it's all to try and make the um, uh, stripe look good. That's what we're trying to do here. So then on top of this one, we're going to have a trapdoor. So we're going to use spruce trapdoor on top of these so that we can then close the hatch, as it were. I know it's not big enough, but um, it's the only way you can really fit it in. I've, I've just found this seems to work the best way, although it's quite chunky. And you can also then see behind the gun, that's the reason I've got this half slab. I say half slab, but it's not. It's just a slab. You know what I mean. Um, right, so then after this, we're going to have a block of birch. Then we're going to have a birch stair. Behind this, a birch plank block. Then this is where we're going to have another cannon. So we need another thing here. There we go, another cannon. So get one of those in there. Then we're going to have two pieces of birch planks. I'm going to leave the back bit because we need to switch a load of materials. So we'll do the same on the other side first. If we can. <laughs> so here's the challenge. So we're going to have the birch stair on top of the last uh, stair here. With our oak slab, we're going to have the upper slab right here in front of the stair. Then right next to the stair, we're going to have a lower oak slab. Then we get a cannon. So I'll whack this in here. Put in the anvils. We're then going to have two blocks of birch planks behind that. And on the side here and on top of the dark oak stair that we had before, a birch stair. Then we're going to put in another cannon. Like that. We're going to have one block of birch planks. Then we're going to have dark oak planks. And then above the cannons that we had on the previous layer, we're going to have a dark oak slab over the top of it. Then two dark oak blocks, then a slab, two dark oak blocks, and then the last one is actually going to be a birch slab. Now I can put on the spruce trapdoors for these ones, like that. Don't worry about these for the time being. I think some of them are a bit weird anyway. No, they don't actually look that weird. No, okay. I did it all the way through. I wasn't totally sure if I had or not, which is really strange. Um, anyway, we're going to have another birch planks block behind this one. Then on top of the last dark oak stair, we're going to have a birch stair like that. Then behind it, a birch block. And then we get another cannon. Like that. Then we're going to have two blocks of birch planks behind that. There we go. Now how, how fun and complicated is that? Um, you can now put in your stairs. Uh, don't ask what I'm going to do with these. I'll, I'll try and show you what I, what I try to do with these ones at, uh, at a later time. <laughs> Um, sometimes I just leave them or I do something else with them. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter too much. Right, so I'm going to grab a couple materials for this and I'll, I'll grab them off this ship because it's just going to be easy for me to do. You're going to need a beehive. You're going to need a spruce fence. You're also going to need a jungle slab. Uh, we're going to need an oak trapdoor and also glass pane. And that, at least at the minute, is it. So that's quite good. So what we'll do here, already got those two blocks there. We're going to have a beehive. It's up to you guys if you want the where you want this little bit uh, poking out. If you want it poking out to, to the outside or the inside. I think I did mine on the in, uh, to the outside even. So we're going to have that there. Leave a block. Have another one. And we'll do the same on the other side. This beehive sticking out. Then on top of the jungle stair, we're going to have a glass pane. Right on the back as well, we're going to have three lots of glass panes. There's a lot of glass on this one, like that. And then we're going to put our oak trapdoors down. Can also use other trapdoors if you want to. Uh, it's totally up to you. It really is totally up to you. There we go, so we get that. Then with our spruce fence, this one's nice and easy to see where this one goes. It just goes straight on top. And then on these ones, it's just sticking out on the sides here. Like that. And the only last bit we need to do is right on this um, fence piece we got here. Just have a lower uh, jungle slab 
of that. So then we get this kind of like nice wavy pattern going on here and then it goes up a little bit. So, and you'll see how it kind of waves onto this bit. It's all just to, to try and give it a little bit more detail. Um, and that's, that's really all it is. But there we go, guys. That is it for layer number five. If you want to, you can, of course, raise up your mast, uh, though, you know, you don't have to at all. So let's go on to layer number six. Okay, and now for layer number six. So what we're going to do, guys, is on top of the last layer, we're going to place a birch plank block. Then we're going to have an upside down birch stairs uh, block, birch stair, <laughs> right there. Then we're going to have an oak slab on the upper piece right next to this one. Then on the dark oak stair, we're going to have it on the lower one. So right here, like that. Then we're going to grab a birch stair. I'm going to have a birch stair right on top of here, like this. Then grab your jungle fence, and we're going to have that on top of the uh, oak piece. This is all part of the beak, and this is where it all gets really messy and complicated, as always. Uh, so that's always a good thing. Then behind this uh, stair that we got here, we're going to have a normal birch planks block. Coming forwards and over the top of this one, we're going to have a dark oak slab. This is just to finish that gun port out. And on top of that, we're going to have the spruce trap door as well. So plonk that on there like that. We're then going to have two lots of dark oak planks. Put those directly on top. And again, we're going to have a gun port going over the top of this one like that, and you can put on your spruce trapdoor. Helps if I actually put this one in. <laughs> I was thinking like, what's going on? Um, there we go, so you get that in there like that. Another thing I'm going to do here is the uh, area for where the shrouds sit, which is just going to fit quite nicely. And that's just from this first gun port that we got here. I'm going to put in two spruce uh, slabs on the upper piece there so that they can sit on top of each other. Right, over to dark oak planks, we're going to have 10 lots going back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Nice and simple. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a dark oak block on top of this one here. Then we're going to have a dark oak slab. Then we're going to have two blocks of dark oak behind this. Then we can put on the spruce trapdoor for that gun port. So see on the other side. Block. Slab. Two blocks. Move your spruce trapdoor on top of that one there. Then this is where it gets all nice and complicated. <laughs> As you could probably imagine. So what we're going to do is right on the back, on top of the glass, we're going to have three lots of dark oak. Like that. With our birch stair, that's going to go above the window piece here. So birch stair above the window piece there. We're going to need to grab an oak planks block as well. And that is going to go on top of the beehives. Like that. There we go. Then with our jungle slab, we're going to have um, basically on top of the, the fences that we got, the spruce fences before, going to have a slab on top of that, then go over and back down again. But then with this one going towards the front of the ship, we're going to go over and down again as well. This is part of the styling that we've got going on. So if we do the same on the other side, so down, up, down, up, down, like that. There we go, that doesn't look too bad. And then for the back, what we're gonna do, is something a little bit different, which is we're gonna need a jungle stair. We're gonna have a slab, then we're gonna have a stair, and we're gonna have a slab, then a stair, and then a slab. So this gets a kind of like bigger circular part, bigger opening, and then a smaller opening at the top here. And that's just part of the style of it. Um, you could, if you wanted it matching, obviously, do upside down stair like that. Um, I just kind of liked, I liked the look of it being a bit smaller. I think it's because of the way that the ship ship curves in and the, the way that it goes up to the top as well uh, is all, all quite small. I just thought that kind of fits for what I wanted it to. So there we go. Um, of course, you can, again, build up your mast if you wanted to I mean you don't have to at all bit by bit um, but there we go guys we'll get on to the uh, yeah because we've done it on the other side as well yep we'll get on to the next layer okay and now for layer number seven so what we're gonna do guys is if you come to the front what we're gonna need is a dark oak plank right on the front 
we're then going to have an upside down oak stair on this piece right here. Now what we'll do, and there is a block I actually forgot in the last day by the way, right by this uh, jungle, jungle fence is an upper slab of oak, upper slab of oak around there. I noticed it just as I was looking at this. Um, so then what we're going to do guys is we are actually going to have a, another dark oak uh, planks block behind this, actually do another two, and we'll grab our oak slab. We're going to go on the upper piece right next to it, then the lower piece, then right here we're going to have a uh, three blocks of dark oak going back, one, two, and three like that. Then we're going to have another slab on top of this one here, so on top of that jungle fence. Then on here we're going to have a jungle fence. Then we're going to have a lower slab. Then with our dark oak stairs, have a dark oak stair going this way and a dark oak stair going this way. Those like that. Then what we're going to do is going to go uh, kind of like this way here, upside down. So on top of that one, upside down stair right there. And on the other side, we're going to have another upside down stair like that. Then with our oak fence, we can have one oak fence, then three fence gates, and then an oak fence block. So if we do the same on the other side, so we've got these three blocks going back, two and three. We're going to have a dark oak stair here, dark oak stair here, and then we're going to switch to upside downs. Oh, there we go. So down stair, and then another upside down stair like that. And then we're going to have an oak fence, three oak fence gates, and then another oak fence. And we need to do the rest of the trim on this. So for this one right here, what we've got is an up, uh, upper um, upper uh, oak slab, then a lower one. Then we're going to have another lower one here, which is on top of that um, fence piece. Then we're going to have a jungle fence here. And then we're going to have a lower oak slab right there like that. Okay, so tiny little tweak, because I've just got confused. What we're going to do is, if we take out the oak fence gates and fences, all we're going to need to do is place another block on the back of it, and then do it. One, two, three, one. There we go. That just confused me, because I was like, it's not lining up. <laughs> but that'll be why. So what we're going to do now, guys, is on this uh, post, put on a composter. Which, by the way, thank you guys for telling me about this. It does look really good. It's like ropes wrapped around a log. Perfect. So I put a composter on there. I'm going to put a spruce trap door there as well to get into the hold, onto the gun deck and into the hold. Then with your oak slabs, what we're going to do is from this layer, we're going to have these on the lower piece of this level here, right next to it. And then for the next bits, we're going to be down lower. There we go, so that's why we get lower onto here. And this is just going to go all the way around, but don't fill in the middle. Just get it to this point here. Because in this bit, we're actually going to have, if I go and find those nice blocks, uh, there we go, oak trap doors. So I end up having, oh, have, I ended up having quite a large hold for mine. Um, you can do something like where you do this, where you have, um, you know, the, the side bits are lowered and the middle bit is raised. If you want, it's totally up to you. So you can do something like that, or you can have it all raised. Um, I think with my one, I went with all raised. Jump around here. There we go. So then you've got the way into the hold. And just think about this as like, you know, lots of ropes and stuff. And it lets down in a load of natural light, which is great. Absolutely fantastic. There we go. So that's cool. So around the front again, um, lower slabs, just going around the mast. Then we have one more forwards. And now we switch over to spruce slab. And we're going to have an upper spruce slab. And this is part of the bow sprit. So this is all part of this. As you can see, it kind of like moves into the ship which is quite cool so that's where we get uh, that bit there so let's get on to the back part of this so for the back part of this one we're going to have an upside down dark oak stair here and then another dark oak stair leave this block completely and then what we'll have behind this is we're going to have so we're going to move in and have a normal stair and a normal stair this, this might look familiar from the front. <laughs> it's because it's a technique that I use all the time with ships to make them look like they're they're angled with ha still having these little gaps in them. So it kind of goes up quite nicely. So same here. What we'll do is we're going to have a um, stairs going in. That's right. 
Just looking at it thinking, actually, is it angled? Yeah, but no. <laughs> yeah, but no. So we got those two right in there like that. Then we're going to have two blocks of dark oak planks. And then we're going to have a dark oak slab. So two dark oak blocks, then a dark oak slab like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have spruce fence gate on top of the oak planks. So we're going to punch those through and we're also going to put a oak slab on top of here. I now remember why I did the oak bits and that's because it makes this nice shape going on here. So yeah, I'd completely forgot about that. So there we go, that looks quite cool. Uh, so same here, put that one on there, punch in these spruce uh, bits. Grab your dark oak planks and what we're going to do is right on the back of here, put all these around. So it's going to go all the way around here just to cover up those bits like that. That's all looking good. And then right on the back, we're going to have a normal spruce fence gate. Do not punch this one through. And then we're going to have a upper slab and a lower slab of your oak. So we're using different bits of wood to do different bits of trims to make it look interesting. There we go. Look at that. That's quite cool. So that's all looking good. So let's get onto the floor now. So if we grab, again, the good old composter, whack that on top of your uh, mast that you've currently got. And I've just realized I made too many of these fence, uh, the, the trapdoors even. So there should be five trapdoors, just realized that. So bring your oak across like this. Either side, have it on the lower piece like that. Then we're going to go up and around like this. So we're just up on one um, set of slabs going around. Then have another three going here, two and three like that. And I'm just trying to figure out exactly where this ends up going. So again, another layer, but the middle one ignore. Because what we're going to do is we're going to put in a oak stair piece there. So we can put a grindstone on because that's where the wheel goes. So that's what I ended up doing for this. Um, you can put the stair either way. It's just, I think with this one, when I had a look at it. Yeah, it was so that it didn't, I think it looked a bit weird when I did that. Um, so that's why I went with that. It looks a little bit more like it's actually a separate piece. Oh, let's fly around here. So that's the reason I went with that. So just behind this, put in a slab right here. And then the rest of it, nice and easy, is all on that upper slab like that. There we go. So we've now got all the decks in at least. And we've got most of the hole done. So let's continue on. We'll finish up the hole in the next layer. And then we get onto the mast. We get onto the sails, the rigging, all of that fun stuff and we'll be done and now for layer number seven and the little finding final little touches on the hull so number one is to correct a tiny tiny mistake which is this stair that we've got here we need to move this back so we need to move this back and put it on top of this one and then we just put in a stair of dark oak just underneath that so it's just yeah angled back a little bit it's the same on this side of course so Put the slab in there, then put the stair in there like that. Um, confusing me again. I'm getting so confused with this one. There's a lot of detail going on in this one. I think that's the problem. <laughs> so anyway, what we're going to do here is if we just put a block on top of the last uh, oak stair, we're then going to have an upper oak slab, then knock out that block. Then we can actually have an oak slab on top. This is just finishing up the beak to try and give it this kind of like S shape kind of thing going on. I don't know. Something like that. Um, we're then going to need a jungle fence. We're going to put a jungle fence piece on here like this. We can then do a basically a block of spruce here and put in a spruce slab here. So this is part of the bow sprit. Uh, and then if you want to, you can then you know start building that up. But I'll, I'll do that as part of the masts. But this is just going up, angling itself upwards. Nice and simple. Then right on the side here, so this block here, we're going to have an upside down stair facing inwards. So we get this little gap yeah, like that. I know it's really tiny little details. Um, and then we're going to have an upside down stair here and then another upside down stair there. So upside down stairs right here like that. So you get the little gap going on there. Then what we're going to do is we are going to have three lots of dark oak slabs. So one, two and three on the top. And this is where I noticed that stuff wasn't lining up. <laughs> so it confused me a little bit. So we go. Three slabs there, so one, two, and three on top of that there, like that. So that all looks good. Would have become really apparent when I started to do the shrouds, by the way, guys, because that's where also where the shrouds are hit, which is why I think I didn't see it. So yeah, confused me a little bit there. Um, 
talking about shrouds, there is also the uh, place where we need to put in the shrouds for the back piece, which is above this stair that we've got here. This is where we're going to put in two bits of spruce slab, and that's where we're going to have our shroud sitting on a little bit later on. This is why I said layer 7 plus, any little finishing up bits. <laughs> so then, what we're going to do, grab your dark oak slab for the back piece. We're going to have two on top of this, so then it gives the same kind of illusion here as it going up. Then we're going to have upside down dark oak stair. Then another dark oak stair over that bit there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have another dark oak stair, this time kind of almost floating above this uh, little slab that we've got here. And then on the inner part, we're going to have this dark oak stair going on here like that. Then another dark oak stair. Then another dark oak stair. So there's like just sets of these two loops going on. So we've kind of got this whole pattern going from there to there to there in a nice angle, using the slabs to, to kind of create a little bit of an illusion. Then from here, we've got just dark oak stair, then the stairs, but this one's pushed back, and another stair there. Right at the back, we're going to put in an anvil, which I know people don't like me for, but you know, you can use other stuff if you wanted to. Uh, and then put a dark oak slab on top of that to finish that bit off. That's the layer eight for you. Uh, nice and simple there. So on the other side, two slabs on top of this one. Gonna have upside down dark oak stair there. Another upside down dark oak stair. Then going over, so above this slab here, dark oak stair. Then move it in. Dark oak stair. Dark oak stair there. And dark oak stair there. Dark oak stair everywhere. Nice and simple, there we go. So that's all looking pretty good. I think we just need one bit left, which is oak slab on top. There we go. I was, I was looking at it going, that is not looking right. Something's missing. But there you go. Put your oak slab on top. That'll finish it up. Uh, I'm really happy with how the cabin turned out on this one. I'm really, really happy with it. Even though it's tiny on the inside, it doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm happy with how it all looks. So guys, that is it for the hull at least. Um, so the next bits are going to be setting up all the masts um, and then doing the sails and then the rigging after that. Or the uh, shrouds, shall I say. Rigging, shrouds, same kind of thing for non-boat people like me. Anyway, guys, let's get into that. Okay, so for the front mast, what we're going to do is we're going to grab stripped spruce wood. So that's going to be our first uh, material that we're going to grab. And on top of the, um, whatever this is called, composter, we're going to build nine blocks going up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then two composters on top of that. Two composters going up forwards, and we just cap this off with a spruce trapdoor to hide it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have nine blocks of your log on top of that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we're going to have two granite walls and two spruce fences. There you go. That's what we do for the start of it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the kind of actual you know mass bits with the whole sails on them going sideways. So the first one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And what we're going to do here is we're going to put a barrel going sideways. Oh, apparently it just worked. So a barrel going sideways, add two blocks going out to the side with each of those. Uh, we're going to angle it the same way that I've angled this one. So in this case, the wind is blowing this way, as much as that makes sense. So we're going to be doing the same. So we're going to move outwards with this one. So one, two, three, four, five. And the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, like that. Then next, from here, we're going to count seven blocks going up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to go out here with just three blocks. Then out with three blocks. And then again, out with three blocks. One, two, three, like that. That gives us our sail. Uh, and also, middle one, barrel it. <laughs> Before I forget, I don't even know if I did a barrel on that one. Yeah, I did. Of course I did. Right, so oak fence. Actually, no, first we'll go on to uh, the bowsprit. So what we need to do is we need to go out with slabs, going out a total of 17. So we've already placed some of these. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, the 17th one, we're not going to actually have it on top, we're just going to leave it like that. There's no reason why you can't, to be fair. 
So it might even look better like that. I don't know. I haven't decided. So I'll leave it like that for now. Go over to your oak fence. What we're going to do is we're going to go forwards. So just on top of the uh, this little mast here. So we're going to go on top of that one. Forwards, then down, then forwards, down, forwards. And we're just going to zigzag. Well, not really zigzag. Diagonal this all the way down. And if you do want to, guys, you can always make it less thick and chunky by knocking out one of them. Uh, which I know some, some shipbuilders do like to do. I'm not one of those. I prefer it to be a bit chunkier and connected. I don't know why. I have no idea why. I just do. But that will then connect in just like that. So the next thing we're going to be doing on this is going to be the crow's nests. So I might... It's because I've already forgotten where it is. It's two blocks above. That's why. I knew it was somewhere. <laughs> so anyway, for this one what we're going to do is going to have a... Uh, spruce stair on the side here, spruce stair. Then we're going to have a spruce stair going around this way. Slab over the back there like that. And the same on this side, so one, two, and then bend it around like that. And that'll do there. Uh, we could do with some birch fence as well. So whack this onto here. This will all kind of tie into the shrouds anyway, but um, yeah, I like, to, I like to put that one in. Then for this one, it's one block underneath this mast. All we're going to do here is we're going to have a stair, then a stair here, stair here, and then put some slabs on. And you'll notice you can't actually get up there with that one, but that's fine. Um, you can always change it and do something similar to this one, or or just knock that piece out. It's absolutely fine. We put down some ladders now. So I know some people do if they're using survival, especially. Uh, some people do like it, like to actually be able to go up into it. Obviously, if you're creative, you can just fly around and do whatever you want. So. There you go. So at least you can get up into the into this crow's nest, um, and then this one. Yeah, if you did want to get rid of it, you could just knock that out, put a bit of ladder there, and you can at least get up onto this piece here. Um, I don't think there's anything on there. No, there's nothing on there at all. But uh, for this one, I went with it being full blocks, because for me, it's more about uh, kind of like what it looks like rather than anything else. Right then, let's get onto the back mast. And now for the back mast, what we're going to do, guys is we're going to build 11 blocks on top of our compost or composter that we've already got. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Then we're going to have two composters on top of that. Moving forwards, two composters again. Then we're going to have 10 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then two granite walls, then two spruce fences on top of that. Like that. Again, we will put the uh, trapdoor. Else if I've actually got it, doesn't it? Put the trapdoor on top of there. Should have really switched it with the granite wall because I know I definitely don't need that anymore, but whatever. Um, right, so then the next bit we're going to do is if we go up, we're going to go 10 blocks up. So one, so this is not counting the compost edges, normal blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to double check that because I think I might have miscounted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, apparently you got it right. We're going to have three going across, put in that barrel again. Then we're going to have three going over, and then three going over again. So it's just, I think it's actually the same size, interestingly. So same on the other bit as well. So one, two, three, one, two, and three like that. Yeah, I think it is. Which is cool. Yeah, it is. It makes sense. So I just looked at it from a maths point of view. I was like, yeah, yeah, all right. Yep, it's fine. Um, right, so that's all looking good now. Uh, right, so the next bit is the next one going up. So we go up with uh, onto the seventh block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We have three going across again. Put in your barrel. That going across, then forwards with three. One, two, three. On the back with three as well. One, two, and three like that. So that will do there. Let's do some joining across stuff. So right, one block down. We're going to go one, two, three, down, two, three. Down two and three, down two, like that, to connect those up. There's also one here which I am going to have to have a look at. It was above it. Ah. So above this, one, two, three, down two, three, down two, three, and down. And then you can connect it in if you wanted to. Um, what I ended up doing with this is I ended up having it, yeah, I did have it connected in. But you can then take it out and you can kind of connect everything up uh, separately if you wanted to. Right, so next bit, what we're going to do is 
two up. So from here, we're going to go two spruce slabs. And on the upper piece, we're going to have that on there. Bring it forwards by two. One, two. One on the back. Then we're going to go diagonal and up by a slab. I'm going to have four of those. Two, three, four. Same again. So one, two, three, four. Knock that one out there like that. Then what I'm going to do is grab your spruce stair. And I'm going to have to double check. Sorry, dudes. There we go. Right next to it. It's so difficult with this whole thing to figure it out. What we're going to do right here is have a stair on top of this one. Then we're going to have one there. Another one and another one. So there's four in total. Then we're going to move to the side. And up as well. So you get one. Two. Three. Four like that. Okay. Then with the uh, your oak fence. What we're going to do is we're going to go from this one up with six. So one, two, three, four, five and six. Then back. And then counting this one, we're going to go with five. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. Then we're going to go to the side. Then this way as well, and then go up till we hit the top. So is this actually a five? We've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Because I'm one off. Okay. So this does need to shift. That's a bit annoying. So shift this, guys. That is annoying, but uh, it is what it is. There we go. And that's why. Ah, I knew I, I knew I was going to mess up on one bit of it. So at least it's this bit rather than anything else. Apparently I can't place blocks either. That doesn't help. There we go. It's there and let's do let's do this. Could have actually just done this, couldn't I? There we go. Get that into there. That was the most complicated way of doing that. There we go. And then that figures itself out. Finally. There we go. So that's what we'll get for that bit. You could, if you wanted to, attach this to this. Um, so you could just have a look at what uh, fences would work with that. Um, if you did want to. It's not not really a problem if you did want to. So you could do something like um, 2, 3, over. So what I usually do is try and figure out how it would work. Turns out that apparently with a four in the middle, it kind of works. <laughs> but you might end up doing something like this instead to get that to work and then start to drop it. So you can figure out how long, how much you need to go down. So you might do it going across there and like this. If you did want to do it this way, of course, you don't have to at all. And then do something like that if you did want to tie it. Um, and then that kind of looks, looks pretty good. You might want to do it up to the same level. You might not want to. It's totally up to you. Um, I'm going to leave mine. I quite like it not being tied up uh, for whatever reason. Right, we're going to do the crow's nests on these ones now. So the first one is actually at the same level as this mast. And we're going to have a stair, then another stair. And then have this one going around this way. Uh, sorry, no, that way. All right, so there's just two. So stair, then this one curls around. Then this one goes the same, around to there. And then we have that slab going out, just like the last lot that we did before. And then for the upper piece, I believe it's just, yeah, it's just one under. We're going to have the same kind of thing that we had before with this one, where we just have the slabs going around like that. Let's grab a ladder and we can put that in to there and all the way down here. Like that. And we can even put in, if we want to, birch fence as well. Might just go on the blocks for the time being and we'll figure out how everything else um, figures itself out later on. But there we go. That is at least it for the basic masts, which means that we've now got the sails and the rigging or shrouds to do next. So now we're going to get on to the shrouds, which are the kind of like rigging bits that you usually see pirates climbing up to get onto the mast uh, in the good old movies. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start on the uh, left hand side of the ship if you're looking forwards. Gonna grab some birch fence. This is what I usually use for rope. Um, it just makes it a little bit different if you've got like uh, oak and then birch. Totally up to you. You don't have to do it this way if you don't want to. But this is the way I do it. So where we've got these two slabs that we put on the front, uh, what we're gonna do is gonna put three lots of your um, fence on there, and we're gonna build that up three high in total. 
There we go. Try not to knock that one out there. So we've got three high there. On the ones that are nearest the back of the ship, put an extra two on there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come in on the inside here and just join up three lots of them. And then put another three lots. And another three lots. So you get three sets of three on the back there. By the way, guys, it doesn't matter if this isn't perfect at all. No one will notice. <laughs> ever. So now what we're going to do is just in the middle, we're going to add on an extra two. So one, two. And on the back one, we're going to go up with an extra three. So one, two, and three like that. Then what we're going to do is right on this one, we're going to join into the back. And the same on this one, join on the back there. And then these are going to go all the way up to this point here. So you just end up joining those twos up like that. So that's the first one. We'll do the same on the other side now. So where we've got these spruce slabs, one, two, three, build that three high. Like that. On the back two, add just two. Then behind this, we're going to just go three across. So that's on the on the full three there. And it's going to be three high. Like that. Then in the middle, we're going to go up with two, one, two. And on the back, we're going to go up with three. So one, two, and three like that. And then we're just going to join in behind these ones. And then both of them, we're going to make go to make them go to the uh, crow's nest. Just like that. There we go. That looks pretty good. So if we go back onto the other side again now, we're going to do the uh, kind of bit that goes up to the top. So it's nice and easy, this one. Right in the middle, add three lots of fence and then the other one it's going to go all the way right to the top <laughs> nice and easy there we go so three of them here one two and three and then again one two three four and five like that and that is the first bit for the front shrouds so to the back so for the shrouds on the back what we're going to do is again we're going to be on the left hand side of the ship it's because it's easier with this mast in place here um, and generally, when, when you've got the masts curved, it's always easy to do it on the on the open side, I find. So what we're going to do is on top of these two spruce slabs that we've got, place down two bits of fence and go up again. On this block that we've got all alone by itself that doesn't look quite right, <laughs> um, we're going to put on three fences going up as well. So that's the reason it's there. Um, could, could technically do a, a stair in there. Um, I think I'm, I'm guessing it's just because of the interior, I guess. I didn't want to have anything there, but uh, who knows. So then what we're going to do is we're going to join these up, just go across the back there. On this front one here, place another uh, fence piece and then go across. You join that up. On the back of the uh, one that's nearest to the back, join on the back and go up like that. And then what we're going to do is for these ones, we're going to have two extras on top of these. One, two, one two like that and then join in the back of them and then right on the backmost one we're just going to go up with another two one two and the next one we're going to go up with three of them one two three like that then we are going to join behind this so there and there and then yet again these two are going to go right to the top and that just leaves us with this extra one here which we just add in an extra piece behind it to join it up it is a lot weirder, this back one. I think it's because of the angle. So it's the best I could do. So yeah, again, what we do is on these two slabs, put on two, go out with two high. On the one that's, um, I believe it's closest to the front. Yeah, closest to the front, we put an extra one on top. With this back one here, we just got with three high. So one, two, and three. And then join those across the back there like that. And then what we'll do is we'll go across again. So we'll just join those two again. So that's all joined up. Then what we need to do, I'm going to have to look because it's I'm really struggling. Ah, it's because of that. All right, okay. So this one goes under and then would go up, but of course can't, which means we then have the next one, which is there. So we'll put that there for the time being. See how we go. So then what we'll do is with these two that we've got here, we're going to go up with an extra two. So one, two, one, two, like that. Cool. Then attach into the back here. And then the one that's closest to the front is going to be three high. One, two, three. And then the next one's two high. One, two. Then add a bit on the back. And then connect those together and just keep on building until we go up. Right. Did I get it right? 
That is the question. Looks like I did, apart from obviously that bit, but that's fine. So you just miss that. And if you ever do hit into the sails or anything like that, um, do do change these, you know, feel free to knock out blocks, it always works. So the final bit, it's nice and easy as well. What we're going to do is we're actually going to add an extra fence piece here. Then what we're going to do, the back one is going to go up with one extra. And then the next one is going to be four extra. So one, two, three, and four. And then the, the one that's right next to this uh, mast is going to go all the way to the top. Nice and easy. So we do the same on the other side as best as we can. Might not be able to do it exactly the same because of this, which is absolutely fine. Um, yeah, we just build up where we can, and I think this one is where we get stuck, so we can't do anything with that one. We got it underneath, that's absolutely fine. So guys, that is it for the shrouds. So, final little bit is the sails. So we're now on to the sails. So of course you can either do this uh, tied up, or you can have it with its sails uh, fully out. Um, Doing it tied up is quite nice and easy. You just come forwards with one block uh, off of the off the mast, and this will be for each mast as well. Um, and you can just kind of pretty much end up tucking in part of it, perhaps like that. You know, something really really simple where you try and make it look like it's tied tight on these sides, and then maybe droop it a little bit there. Um, you know, that's one way of doing it, and that does seem to or does work. Nothing wrong with it. Um, so if I'm just doing it on this one as well, there we go. And you don't have to follow the mast exactly, you can, you know, push a block back there or or push a block forwards. It doesn't really matter with that. But, um, yeah, so you'll do that for all of them. Um, you can do the same on the front as well, pretty much exactly the same, you just, you just follow little bits of it. Um, and the same with the back as well, you can even do that, it's, it's really easy. What we're going to do though, is we're going to be doing uh, full sails. And this is not the block by block part of it. Um, it's very difficult. It's almost impossible to do block by block. I've tried before. I failed. <laughs> it's just um, what you're trying to do is basically make it look like the wind has caught the sail. So as you can see with this one, um, the wind has you know is pushing currently against this, and that's why it's getting all these little bits that are getting caught. So you're trying to make it look natural. It's, it's part of like an organic type of structure. Now because we've turned the masts. And we've also got them angled forwards. This helps. This actually helps quite a lot um, to be able to get the, the effect to make it look good. So what we'll do is, um, similar to when we tie them up, we're just going to bring this forwards. So we're going to have one going forwards from here. And then we're going to go out again and down. And this time we're going to have two. And we're just going to follow it exactly for the time being. Because this is the this is the simplest way that I've figured out of being able to show you guys without um, without doing it block by block. So we're going to go out again and we're going to have this one free long. By the way, this isn't what I've done on the other one. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. It might be what I've done on the other one, but I, I just don't know. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Uh, we're now going to go in with two. And we just follow this. So you just follow the, the curve and you get a really boxy looking sail. Um, which, if that's what you guys want, then that's what you guys can have. Um, no problem at all. And we're going to go in with one as well. So there we go. So you end up with something like this. Very, very boxy. Um, so what you want to do now is you want to try to break up these lines, especially when it hits like this. When you get when you get anything like this, you want to do something like that to to make it look more natural. And that's that's all it is, really. Um, so as soon as you see that, you can see that I've moved that block. That looks way better. Um, you can also push in, of course, with these bits and maybe even push out and even push out from here. You just kind of follow the lines that you've actually got to add in a bit of detail about a bit more structure, make it look quite nice. So I might push this one back, for example. You can then see that that makes it look a little bit better. I might push this one in, and that might mean that this one goes in and this one goes in. Um, now with the ends of the sails, I like to add in this kind of shape, because what I'm trying to do, um, and you'll see this in a bit, try and cut down into this. So we try and get a shape that way, try and get a shape this way, and underneath we try and get a shape that way. Um, it just makes it look quite nice. Um, so if we just cut out the middle three, that's a nice and easy way of doing it. And then we go out, and maybe we go up to there. Perhaps. It, it doesn't really matter, and we will tweak it. So actually, I already don't like it because I've got two blocks here, and then two blocks going that way. So it looks really boxy and really square. But I can just fix that by putting on one there. And that might mean that that one doesn't go as high and just go straight back like that. 
And that's also quite cool and nice. So there we go, we do the same over here. So we're going to have this one going out to there. And then out like that. Still got some detail to do down here, or, or changes to do down here, shall I say. Uh, actually, the bottom bit I'm going to cut out. So I'm going to cut out maybe four on that one. So not even have it as uh, as being odd. As such, it's not going to match either side, which is also quite good. And then we can push this back. Like that. And I don't like that one, so knock that one out. And then down here, we can kind of see still got that boxy frame. We're just going to knock that in from there. And then also that one goes to there. Still got quite a big boxy bit here. So I'm going to knock that one in. <sighs> it's trial and error as well. I should have said that. But uh, never be afraid. And this is, this is with anything. To start again. Never be afraid to start again with pretty much anything. There we go. That looks more natural and a lot better. The only thing I might do is I might push that one back to there. And just leave it like that. And that's what we're going to get. So that's how you can do the sails. They are all exactly the same. But I'm still going to step you guys through. Um, even if it's just the, the first pattern for these. So with the tied up sails, we had the same kind of thing. So we had this here. I'm going to go down with two. And move this forwards. If you guys do find this too difficult to try and figure out what it should look like, um, then do go with the really boxy ones, because at least that gives you a sail. Uh, and also, survival players, you are crazy. Um, <laughs> trying to do some sails in survival. Um, this technique does not work for you guys, but I, I have tried doing block by block, and I really struggle. I just keep on making mistakes on them because it, it just doesn't work. It's not the way that my, my brain works or anything like that. Um, hmm, I'm looking at that one. I'm going to actually let's do free for that one. So let's do free for that one. We'll cut out a big chunk with this bit that's hitting into the deck, uh, hitting into the deck in the hole. Uh, we won't worry about that too much. Now we're going to go in with two as well. But yeah, I have I have tried, guys. Um, you can find somebody that can do it <laughs> really well. Uh, point them in in my direction, or or send me a message or something like that because it would be good to see if somebody has got a good way of doing them. Where uh, that works for survival. Right, so with this one, I'm actually going to cut out these bits first. I'm going to go with five down there, and also down here, I cut out a big, big chunk. So I'm actually thinking there. Uh, there needs to be more, doesn't it? I might even keep that one there. Ah, that looks terrible. What have I done over here? Yeah, mine's quite, it's quite big on this one as well. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> As long as I've done something similar on the other side. There we go. So, quite open, but that's fine. We'll we'll sort this out. Right, let's just start curving this. And because this one's a, a longer sail, it's less... Um, that one's quite nice and big. We can do quite a lot with it. This one, I've got to kind of stretch out a little bit. So that's what I'm trying to do at the minute. So I might have like that there. Have this one down. And maybe going like that, perhaps. And same with these, we're going to just push these in. Is that going back? Maybe just there? Yeah, we'll do that for now. Knock out two there. And knock these back too. I'm right on my line now. You you could go over the line, by the way, guys, and it's fine. Um, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not going to matter if it's just, you know, a couple of blocks over. It's just a guide, really. Right. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. Just need to. I'm going to push that forwards, perhaps. Yeah, and if I do that, then I can push this one forwards. So we'll get there in a bit. There we go. Maybe we do that. That looks better. So keep on, you know, taking a step back, looking at it. Seeing what you think you should do with it. And know that it will never be perfect because these never ever are. So I've done it before where I've done really bad sales and I've done it before where I've done really good sales. And I can't tell you the difference at all. There we go, that's better. So that's what we've got for that one. Um, it is quite big there, I think. 
This one's pretty much the same. Yeah, it's almost exactly the same. Uh, it's just the front sail that kind of comes in and uh, and sorts it out and makes it look a little bit better, I think. So that's the good thing with that that one there. And that's why that one looks better, because this front sail here comes right out and kind of hides it a little bit, which is fine. <laughs> so there we go. Right, so if we go onto the back, back parts, it's exactly the same. Let's build these blocks over. And build forwards. We'll go with two. And again, there is no real formula of what should go forwards by how many blocks or anything like that. Um, change it if you want. I go with three blocks. Is that right? Yeah, it's because I was on that side. I was thinking, where am I? What's going on? But there we go. Like this. And over as well. Apparently I missed out a block there. And then I'm going to bring this in. Uh, I'll do it with a two and then a one. So it feels very similar to the uh, sale we did a minute ago. The top one. I think it's because... Yeah, the same mass. So maybe I do have a pattern that I've got in my head. Um, that I don't tell anyone about because I don't know anything about. <laughs> totally possible. Right, so put these in here. Um, when you hit into a bit of um, the fence, ignore it. Um, keep the fence where it is for the time being because you can always change it later on. It's always more difficult to put the fence in than it is to change or add a bit of sail. That's what I always find. So there we go. Right, let's start uh, curving this up. So I was like this going in here, this going in here, that going there, that going there. Put that there. Have some extra ones there. Except for that one, I'm going to knock this one back. Same with this as well. Do something like that. And maybe switch that one down to there. So again, it's all just trying to make it look smoother, more interesting. That's all we're doing. Trying to place blocks randomly like I do. There we go, and up here as well. Maybe push those back there. And here we go. Put that into there and maybe go there. Yep, it's just very square bit that there. Okay, we'll cut out the blocks. So I'm just gonna go free middle there. And I'm gonna go for five underneath here. Something like that will do. Yep, that looks good. Right. So next, actually, I think as well. Oh, I didn't do it on this one. It's interesting. I was gonna say grab an oak fence as well and put them on <laughs> behind this so that we actually attach them on. I did not do it on my other one. Interesting. So I just do it on where the um, where the cells actually attaches to make it kind of look like there's something at least um, connecting it. <laughs> Don't have to do it as well. It's optional, obviously. Obviously, I didn't bother with that one. So there's that. All right. So for here, we're going for with a one for this next sail, and same again, all the way around, across this entire thing. This is always the longest part of the uh, video, by the way, guys, um, the sales, because it's the most organic out of all of it. And there's a lot of actual blocks being placed. But also, if you've got to this point and you've done my videos before, you know that you're not that far from the end. Once you've done this, you're all good. So we're going to go with three for the next section. And it can also be worse. The bigger the ship, the more sales, <laughs> the more the more time it takes. There we go, knock those in there. And we'll go down again. And forwards. There we go. Should we go? Yeah, we'll go in now. I'm just going to go one for the time being. I'm going to have a look at what we want to do with it. Because it depends. what it looks like. I think we go over two for that one, so let's double this one up. I mean, I will lose quite a bit in the middle, which is absolutely fine. Similar to the front as well. We'll lose this, but that's absolutely fine. So maybe we'll go with that. And we're just going to add on another one as well, because it just finishes it up a little bit. 
even though that will only be for a couple of the blocks. So I'm only going to do it, I'm not even going to do it in the middle because that will be cut instantly. So save ourselves some block placements. There you go, so maybe we'll have that there. Right, okay. So I'm going to just cut this. I'm going to cut a couple extras in here. And just kind of round this off a little bit. Um, there we go. Right. So let's start shaping it. It's the same again. Just try and make it look interesting and uh, like the wind has got it. Nice rounded. Compared to what we had before, which is the, the very square thing. Actually, the top will cut out five. We've already done the bottom. <laughs> See, it was my, my instinct is to do the top, then do the bottom. But I've obviously already done the bottom. So... Right, so we go with that there. That looks good already. Very big. And then we'll just do these bits. Like that. And on this bit here, we'll go up and over. And then we'll do the styling on this side as well. So we're going to knock a couple of these back. Um, knocking into the the other sail that we've done. It's fine. <laughs> right, and then we go over to this side maybe. With that this one's much more difficult to see because it's right in the back. But there we go. That looks pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I need to knock that one back or not. I am going to yeah, I'm gonna knock that one back. So I'm gonna put in those fence pieces again. Because why not? There you go. Right, so the last two sails that we've got is the, I'm pretty sure it's called the Spanker. <laughs> and um, I can't remember what the front one's called again. I, I learn all these, the jib, I think it's called the jib. I learn all of these and then I forget all of these. Uh, every single time, I think I've learned it like five times or something. I just never remember it. So what we're going to do for this front one anyway, um, we're going to be joining onto this bit of fence that we've got down. Um, if you have gone for the singular fence, because what you could do is you could do single fence like that instead, and that is, does seem to be quite, well, becoming more common in the uh, shipbuilding Minecrafting world, um, then, you know, just adjust it accordingly. It's not going to matter too much. But what we're trying to do with this one is exactly the same. Try and make it like a really nice triangular shape. So we've got triangle here, triangle, well, you get, you get three sides. It's a triangle. <laughs> Simple as that. But you also want to push it out, and we want to tie it back as well. So we, we try and basically do that. So because we've got the wind direction going this way, that's the way it's going to be going out. Uh, of course you could switch the direction, um, but you'd have to switch the direction on all the sails otherwise it won't look quite right. So we start off with just building a singular line and then I usually join this up like this. Could end up having just a block up here. Because we've got this other sail here we can kind of bits of it merge which kind of works okay. We're going to go out now and again we'll join across this line. Um, probably won't go out yet, I don't think, but I'll add an extra block down there. I'm also going to have an extra block perhaps going down to here. Now keep it there. Keep that there. Let's go out again. And this time, what we're going to do is we're going to go out and also around it a little bit so we get this another bit of a shape in there. I'm going to knock out a couple of these, I think. But uh, there we go. Let's go out again. This will probably be the last time we go out for this one. Yeah, so maybe we knock that one in there, maybe knock that one in there, and that down there. Oh, I don't like that already, but out there. Hmm. <laughs> That's usually what happens. I like I get very like, hmm. Trying to figure out what I'm trying to do. Right, let's start pulling this back anyway. So I'm going to knock this one down and have this one to connect, try and connect potentially to there. So if we're doing that, that gives us to there. I'm going to basically undo some of the stuff that I've already done and that's kind of normal as well. So I can then get this here and perhaps there. Mm, kind of looks okay, kind of doesn't at the same time. I think it's this bit here. I think I just need that to kind of almost be solid, but I, I really don't like this corner. And as soon as I go up to the side, it then starts to really look a bit bulky. 
So it might be that we just need to really bring this down. I'll to make that look. Yeah, see this has got a really square bit here, so maybe we just get rid of that. That looks a little bit better. And we're nearly there now, I think. And maybe we have this here, and maybe we even go to there. There we go, that looks better. Right. So, I'm still not totally happy with it. I think my other one looks better. Um, but I can't tell you why. It might be, actually. I think the reason my, my the other one looks a little bit better is because it might even start one block over here. So there's actually less, less sail at the top, but it looks like there's more somehow. <laughs> so, so yeah, we could try to amend it and uh, pull it in. I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, but if you guys do want to have a look at this one, so all I've got here, it going around, I've got a really square bit there, which is quite rare uh, for me anyway. Then it goes into twos and then goes down uh, into it. So it's a little bit more, I don't know, controlled somehow. And it also is cut quite a lot here, so there's a bigger gap uh, from my one here. So I think I'm one block up from that. So it might be that that's, that's all it needed. Who knows? Anyway, we're going to move on to the back one, which is the, as I said before, what I think is called the spanker, which is quite funny. Um, so what we'll do for this one is pretty much put blocks behind it. So where you can see these stairs, we put it on those stairs and then behind these stairs. Um, and I usually do that to start it off. Um, you can also go, you know, behind this one if you wanted to. Um, but I tend not to. I don't know why. But it's totally up to you. We'll join up these ones here. See where you've got this bit of fence. Don't, don't worry about it. Just ignore it because we need to kind of make a bit of a shape to get down here anyway. So what we'll do is we might go forwards. Hmm. Might go forwards, and then we might go down to here. There we go. Let's try and figure that out. So maybe we do... Do you think we need two there? Definitely. So maybe we do something like that to try and get that shape in, perhaps. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, so we'll do the same on the other side as well. We'll just try and kind of follow the shape. So we come and kind of come out of here, and then we can come forwards as well. So we just try and... With the bottom parts especially, I always try and like join it up. Um, you don't have to though, not at all. But this kind of gives a bit of a frame of what we want to then do because then we can just, you know, these blocks here are really natural. That can then just join into that nice and easy. We might even just join that one there. That looks better. Um, I can do a couple blocks here and then also join across here. So I always find this, this seems to work a lot better is just getting that rough frame done because we can then yeah work with what we've got. So we might go down from here, but this needs to be tucked in as well. So if we are having to tuck these in, let's do that and join that up to, to say there. Put an extra block there and then let's move this forwards if we can. See what that looks like. There we go. Okay. And then if we cut this one off, maybe push this back. And maybe even put those back as well. There we go. That doesn't look too bad at all. So that's how we can get the bits of detail in there. The only bit I'm not happy with is this block here for whatever reason. So if we have a look at the other one. Um, so yeah, actually no, I'm still not happy with that on this side. But yeah, pretty much exactly the same. So all you're trying to do is just make these shapes going out. These circular shapes coming out from it. Uh, so I guess the one thing I could do is to basically match my other one there and, and push this one out. Um, and have that out a bit more and maybe that looks a little bit better. Maybe it doesn't. You could also, of course, just clip the, clip the corner off if you wanted to. Uh, which actually I think that might look a little bit better for some reason. But guys, that is it. You have completed the tutorial. Um, if you wanted to put flags on the top, grab whatever colours you want. And, you know, have these going from the top here. And have them going down. You know, make sure you've got your wind direction going the right way. That way. Um, you know, put whatever you want on there for, for flags. Have it where you've got them with, you know, hanging with, um, uh, what are they called? I want to say banners. Are they called banners? Yeah, they're called banners. Of course they are. Um, with banners and things like that if you wanted to. Um, but guys, that is it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I will show you the interior of mine. It's quite a, a relatively small ship as, uh, I, I say it's a relatively short small ship, you know, it's got a whole gun deck, but still, it's quite small. But I'll show you guys what I've got for the interior. And um, that's it. 
So here we are. We're just outside of Lord's Port, uh, which is the, the city I've been doing in my Let's Build series, if you guys are interested in that. I'll hopefully remember to put a, uh, a thing in the description. If not, yeah, go and find out. So interior-wise, is really simple for mine. Um, lots and lots of stuff on deck, as always. Obviously got our... I actually quite like this design. I quite like this little half block with the whole wheel. So you can kind of stand in here. It actually feels like it's at the right uh, height, which is, which is different. Um, I have put in a smoker, and then I've got a polished um, wall, and then a little flower pot. That's because that is where we've got a little furnace underneath there. Um, the deck is just filled with with stuff, basically. It's not really much going on here. Um, I didn't put up anything up on this part here. Uh, if you guys wanted to put more guns on it as well, of course, you've got this whole top level to do that. Not a problem. If we go into the gun deck, um, what I've got from here is cannonballs. These are using player heads. Um, at the front, I decided this little gap area thing uh, to put in an anvil and then put on some iron bars. The the reason for this is there's, that's the chain work for um, for the anchor, which I know we haven't got an anchor on the side, but if it did have an anchor, that's what we've got. Uh, also, I didn't put any wheels on these ones at the front so I could get to there. These ones, I've got player heads for the wheels. Uh, these, I ended up putting on a block to do it, so I wasn't too sure about that. In the middle, I have actually cut out a small area as well, down down there for some trapdoors. But above it, I've actually put in a table, because we need a table for the guys to eat and things. So of course, they can then just move that to the side, and then load the cargo down, nice and easy. And then put it back when they need it to. Um, but it is quite cramped. I have put in, as well, some little details using the stairs. Um, I know that's not major detail, but it makes it look a little bit more, I don't know, connected, with whether there's beams going on or, or whatever. Um, so that's nice and simple. Um, yeah, there's not really too much to say about that. We've got a blast furnace I've used for the furnace. I should have actually turned that sideways. Really have it one of the sides. Um, <laughs> so it's because I put that in and then I put it in the table. I didn't even think about it. So, I mean, that's all quite nice and simple. Not really much going on there. Um, same again with these ones raised up onto a block. Uh, I was tempted to put in a stair here. So ooh, to try and make it look a little bit less. I don't know. Um, Abrupt, you can put stairs in there. Actually, that does look okay. For the captain's cabin, um, so I've got the dark oak going around. This one drops down. Uh, in here, we've got the bed, we've got a crafting table, we've got a nice little desk. So I used the side here, um, kept them as dark oak planks as a table, but then I dropped this on this side because I wanted to make it look... So when I, when I had like this, it looked really cramped in. So I was like, actually, we can put in slabs here. So let's put in slabs there, but keep this side of the table. And then a little bit of storage up above. Um, but, you know, it's a pretty small cabin. So, you know, not not too much there. Um, right, if we go into the hold now. Oh, yeah, and also a little bit of ropes on the floor. I know there's a... I know there's a... Whatever this is called, rail. There we go. But I'm thinking about them as ropes. So down in the hold, we've got a crouch. Um, I've just shoved loads of stuff in there. Um, we've got just, like, bits of everything, really. Uh, I've got some ropes in there using the birch. Cannonballs as well. Uh, right in the back, this is where it gets a bit dark. I have got some gunpowder, so I decided to go with grey concrete powder and actually show it on this side. Obviously, if we had like a slab or something, that's where I put the slab in there, but haven't really got anything that really matches that, so I've, I've just left it as is um, so that you can actually see it. So we've got some gunpowder there and, you know, just general stuff in the back. It's uh, pretty simple, really, for an interior, but, you know, it, it does. It does work, so at least that's all finalized up. So let's just close this all up. There we go. So anyway guys, uh, hopefully you have enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.